by Robin with OxyDrive. And today I thought it might be uh, helpful for uh, uh, some to uh, do a little basic how to uh, operate an adjusted rotary machine for use. Uh, because although I've been carpet cleaning with these machines for decades and many other people have of course, and we kind of forget that what we take now for uh, granted that the uh, operating these machines is almost instinctual. For somebody who's never used one of these machines, it can be quite a interesting experience when you turn one on and discover that it actually would like to throw you through the wall if you haven't actually used one before. So I thought I'd just run over the basics of using it. Um, it's actually very simple and easy, I think. <laughs> but uh, so I'll just show you the some of the um, simple things that you need to know. Uh, this is a kind of a standard rotary with a handle release down at the bottom, so I thought I'd use this one to show. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to lo lo loosen the handle and lower the, the, the machine uh, so that the, the, um, the handle is now sitting against my waist or just below my waist. Now I'm going to lock the, the handle in place. So now I'm ready to use it. Um, so now the thing to remember is that when the rotary machine, when it turns on, the uh, uh, pad driver is going to start spinning in a counterclockwise motion. And um, the idea is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to balance the machine, the weight of the machine, on that spinning uh, pad. There's a pad underneath here. Um, and as long as we keep the pad relatively flat to the surface that we're on, in this case of being a concrete floor, um, this machine will just basically stand, sit in place. Now, in order to stabilize it, I'm going to actually, I can feel the, the flatness of the, of the pad against the floor. So when I turn it on, what will happen is the machine will just basically stay in place. So now, it, right now, it's just balanced over the center of the drive plate. So in order for me to make the machine move, whether, if I want to go forward, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take a step. The machine goes forward and go back and I'm going to take a step. Now, if you notice, when I, I normally will keep the handle of the machine right up against my legs here. So it kind of gives me a stable place to, to keep the machine in place. In order to make the machine go to the right or to the left, I will raise or lower the handle back. One thing you need to remember is that when I raise the handle or lower the handle, I will do it very, uh, very subtly. Okay, so I'm going to go to the right by raising the handle. I'm going to go to the left by lowering the handle. Right, raise the handle. Left, lower the handle. But I'm probably only moving the handle about an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter of an inch. So if I hold the machine out now from my waist, I'll show you. So in order to go to the right, I'm going to just raise the handle, lower the handle, raise the handle, lower the handle. So it's very little movement. But the mistake that a lot of guys will make is they, they go to make the machine move and they'll heave the handle up, push the handle down, and the machine will just go crazy all over the place. So again, if you first thing you want to do, ideally, you want to, um, you notice how my elbows are actually bent. I'm not, I'm not straight down and I'm not pulling up. Like another mistake people will make is they, they tend to hold the machine handle up way too high and they're, they're kind of moving up and down with the shoulders. And you certainly don't want to do that. The movement that you're doing here is going to be very minimal. So I'll do it again. Again, I, I've got the machine just below my waist. My elbows, elbows are bent. I'm releasing the safety lock and then the, 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 uh, on off switch is actually this uh, the bar right here. So I can hold the machine and just it'll just cover. If I want to go forward, I'm just going to take a step, go back, I'm going to take a step, to go to the right, I'm going to slightly raise, to go to the left, I'm going to slightly, slightly lower. Very, very easy. Um, now, if you do lose control of the machine, if you find that it's, it, you're, you know, for whatever reason, all you need to do is simply release the, uh, the switch. Don't let go of the handle. You just, just let go of the switch. Um, the other thing I wanted to show is down at the, on the bottom of the machine here, on, the, on the, um, this tube, you see that I've got a, I've got a um, hose clamp. 
Now the reason the hose clamp is there is that once you've got the exact sweet spot, you could say, where you um, the machine will sit, once you've got that figured out, if you put a hose clamp there and just tighten it up, now this one's just loose right now, but if you tighten it up, now then every time you reposition the machine, you would lower it down and the hose clamp would stop the, the, um, the bracket and then you would be always in the exact position you want it to be in for cleaning. So again, I'm just gonna turn it on. Again, see I've got the machine to handle up against my leg gives me stability. It also takes a little bit of the, uh, the weight of the machine off. Now if I, for example, what I just did right there is I actually had the, the machine tipped up a little bit. I'm gonna do this on purpose. I'm gonna, like right now the machine, as you see, if I, if I lift it up high like this, the disc on the front is, now the, all the weight of the machine is gonna be at the front of the, the, the drive uh, pad, so it'll immediately go to the right. So if, if you find it like, whoa, it's going the wrong way, just let go of the power. So again, if you did it the same way, if you had the, the back of the machine uh, pushed down too far, then you really want to go to the left. So what you're looking for is the, just find that balance. Like once you have the, the handle locked in place, sort of find out where the machine feels like it's flat against the floor, perpendicular to the floor. That's not the right word. Um, parallel to the floor, um, and then you're going to turn it on, and ideally, if you've got it perfectly set, it'll just kind of float there. I want to go to the right, lift slightly, I want to go to the left, push down slightly, I want to go forward, I just take a step, I want to go back, I just take a step, and away you go. So hopefully, for those of you out there who've not used a rotary machine, this will help you to understand how simple and easy they are to operate because they are a great machine to use. I use one um, every day. I do primarily residential carpet cleaning. This is the my machine of choice, uh, is the rotary machine, not this particular one, I have a few of them. Uh, but they're a great machine. They will clean very well, uh, maybe very reliable, very simple machine to use. Uh, and um, you, you can't go wrong with using a rotary if you really want to learn how to be um, really skillful getting the cleaning results that you are after. Uh, I have over 300 videos going back a few years now showing how well you can and easily you can clean using a rotary machine for residential carpet cleaning. And I do, um, this is my preferred machine. I do have OP machines as well, but I prefer the rotary uh, for various reasons. But um, you can certainly do very well with using your rotary machine and build a great business with repeat clientele and, uh, and earn a good living using your rotary machine. So uh, that's... That's the first important thing to understand is how to operate the machine and, and just get that balance point and you'll do fine with it. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much.